Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Silly Ray's Cooking Show. Hey, well, I'm so glad to have you back on my YouTube channel. Hey folks, guess what? It's Thanksgiving. We're gonna learn how to make a whole Thanksgiving feast with a hold of trimmings. Uh, uh, it's gonna be the best uh, first Thanksgiving. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and you learn a tool thing or two about cooking turkey. And I think you will. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. A lot of times people say, Silly Ray, why, why are you mad a meatloaf again? Uh, Silly Ray, enough with the uh, crock potatoes. We want some real holiday, and I know the comment section was saying, come on, Silly Ray, get the, make with the turkey, it's the holiday. So, well, you know what? Yeah, I can't put it off anymore. It's time for the holidays, and guess what? Uh, we've got we've got the pies, we've got the we've got the treats. You know, my I just ha uh, had a very successful surgery, by the way, uh, on my uh, foot. It was decroded, and they're uh, they've been working on it. And I know I know uh, Chapton uh, seventy five in the comments saying, "Silly Ray, why are you always dressing like a goof?" Well, I'll tell you what. These are the best pants uh, for keeping your slotted spoon, your normal spoons. But I tell you what, I digress. I cannot wait to cook a, a cook a beautiful turkey. But I tell you what, when are the leaves going to turn? <laughs> when are the leaves going to turn? Because I want to get that a uh, Thanksgiving feeling in my spirit too, you know. But we're almost up to 10K. And our latest collab went so well with Tim and Tim that I can't wait to have another collab. Anybody's going to collab with me. Folks, we want to have RCA cables. Hit the bell. Like it. Put it all up, plug it in. It's the 2000s. We're gonna have a lot of fun, it's the future. How about that? My own special YouTube network. And I'll tell you what, that's my favorite part about YouTube is that we could have a, you can have kids and boys and girls and they can all look at a screen and they can say, that's my favorite sunny boy. <laughs> so don't forget to smash that like button, folks. Um, but if you're spilling stuff on the floor, make sure you clean it up, don't make a mess. That's the number one rule of cooking. So people say, Bob Ray, you got your slotted spoon. Hey Ray, you got your normal spoon. One's for gravy and one's for green beans. So so pay up tension because we might go fast. Uh, since we installed a gazebo, I have not, we can't get rid of the squirrels. So I don't know what to do about these squirrels. Folks, if you have a squirrel problems, you have a squirrel, not only is a squirrel problem, better yet squirrel solution. Put it in the comments, folks, so I can read that because I would love to figure out how to get rid of these dang squirrels. I don't want to hurt them, but uh, I probably will if, if I don't get rid of them. We try and catch and release, but if they come back, we might have to call my uh, my neighbor with his friend rifle, uh, BB gun. Um, hey, folks, uh, I know we've been talking about this for weeks, but uh, don't forget, if you haven't voted on your favorite Thanksgiving day, Day, float or balloon please vote in the comments and I'm gonna tally those up and for whoever wins I'm gonna make a cake based on on um, the winning float so that's gonna be fun um, and I'm gonna teach you all how to make it all right but before we get started here we're gonna go through a quick Ray facts <laughs> silly Ray facts first Ray Ray fact is uh, the orange cat outside don't try to corner it or you will get a scratch in the throat. I learned that by example. Of course, my my uh, niece was arrested for shoplifting makeup at uh, CVS. I gave her a stern one of these. I still love the kid. Of course, kids make foolish mistakes. That comment from uh, Catfoy. <laughs> Hey, we all, we've all been there, right? We've all had our face in the mud. We've all had our heads stepped on. We've all been kicked around the curb. So anyway, my urethra is a mess. <laughs> now folks, if you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to donate to my Patreon. Go to URL.com, a URL Patreon, uh, Flying Free, uh, Silly Ray, uh, Slotted Spoon Restaurant, which of course is, uh, God willing, the name of the restaurant that I will one day open, the Slotted Spoon, Silly Ray, woo woo woo. Uh, no cultural appropriation, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's going to be uh, a, definitely a fudge fountain for the kids. <gasps> Folks, quick quick warning. Don't go burning leaves in a pile if you're next to a gas station because we tried that before <laughs> to uh, fatal results. I had four family members die when we were just trying to have a fun little fire. If you're going to wash clothes with uh, that have been spilled with oil and gasoline, just throw them out. Just throw them out. You're not going to get rid of that smell. Uh, you can light them on fire. You can you can bury them. What I do when I'm trying to hide clothes that I don't want any police or anyone to find, I'll bury them. I'll just bury them. Or I'll, I'll throw a, a brick in a bag and I'll throw them right in the river and nobody's ever going to find those clothes ever. 
So anyway, folks, well, we're gonna to start on the uh, on the turkey, but I just wanted to say thank you to all my fans. Hearing all your get well uh, messages after I had my foot worked on by uh, the medical doctor, I was literally under the knife. My urethra was very damaged. I'm not, I won't be back to Walgreens, that's for sure. And, um, <clears throat> well, let's we'll go ahead and get going on this turkey then. Step one of cooking a turkey, you want to let this sucker dry out. You want to set this out for a good eight to ten hours. Just let it dry out because you're going to be reintroducing juices with these, obviously, a turkey baster. Don't let my uh, Aunt uh, Kimmy have one of these because she'll get herself pregnant. What you're going to do, you want to baste it. Make sure you're constantly basting. Baste, baste, baste. When in doubt of your face, make sure you give it a baste, okay? Okay, now don't forget that most, one of the most important steps, the paprika. You gotta get that paprika in there, okay? Inside this hole right now, a lot of people are gonna be confused, but you might find uh, giblets, AKA the turkey's testicle. You might find anything. They don't really clear that out. So whatever the turkey had for lunch, you're gonna find it in there. But I'll tell you what, this was once a proud bird uh, with feathers and everything. Probably had a good life and now it's a, uh, slow march to this uh poor sad state of affairs but uh family likes to eat them so we'll just keep uh keep doing it i guess after all that after you get the uh the juices sorted uh you just got to find the hole now the the hole could be here oh it feels like a dead body i should know <laughs> my uncle owned a uh a cadaver place uh funeral home now this was once a proud bird but He's, uh, this is really quite sad. You want to give it a touch. You want to touch the turkey. That's how you can, uh, soften the meat. If you don't touch the turkey, you're going to have rough meat. I'm going to add a little paprika. A little more. You can never have too much paprika. It's like a deviled egg. And then you just want to touch it. All right. And then you want to tug at the skin a little bit to make sure that that's not going to get too crispy. Uh, Creole seasoning, not this year. <laughs> All right, folks. Now, this is the, the, the well, very important step. If you plan on doing a stuffing, which you should, you want to get you got to get your hand in there. I know it's like the last thing you ever would want to do. You want to find the hole. The hole's going to be right here, and that where might be where there might be a penis in there. They might not have taken the entire penis or testicles out. You just want to stick your finger in there. And just double check, make sure there isn't a testicle matter or labia. Or, uh, but this was a boy turkey, that's what I've been told. So we're not gonna have any problems this year. You wanna feel for those. Doesn't feel like any 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 sexual organs in there, but it does kind of feel like a vagina. Put something in the YouTube comments if you agree or disagree with what uh, Uncle Crazy Ray's saying right now. Uh, yeah, you wanna put your hand in there and sometimes you might wanna get two hands in there, okay? Cause you wanna get in there, folks. That is where the flavor is gonna be. That is where the smiles of the children are going to be reflected because you went in and you took care of it with both hands. We're pretty much there, so <laughs> take out the pizza tray. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Forgot that was <laughs> been preheating all day. <laughs> Jesus, Ray. I'm impervious to pain, of course. Ever since I've had all my nerve endings were destroyed in a fire <laughs> when I was a kid. Yes, my genitals were melted off. It looks like uh, cheese pizza down there. It's a real horror show. Okay, so just stick the. the the old turkey right in there. And you know, nothing gets my uh, son up from the basement than the smell of turkey. He will run upstairs so fast, sometimes he'll hit his head on the door jam, knock himself out cold. He loves the smell of turkey. So you put that in there, uh, have some pie while you're waiting. Let that cook for a good 14 hours. And uh, check on it though, don't leave the side of the kitchen. That's it though, YouTubers. And don't forget to uh, smash that like button, recommend collabs for me, comment, hit the bell, collaborate, smash the like button. Thank you very much.